There you go. Great. Good evening, Endorphin coaches and members. We're going to go through our cool down for the next two weeks. So we're going to start off with 10 contractions per side. The first movement that we're going to do is a standing hamstring stretch. So I'm going to get into a sumo stance here. I'm going to keep one leg bent and I'm going to bring my other leg out straight a little bit in front. And from here, I'm going to hinge over. So I feel a really big stretch through the belly of my hamstring here. All right, so for your contractions, you can just hinge back to that end range, come back off a little bit, hinge again, come off. And you're gonna switch over to the other side. Again, knee bent, leg locked, and hinge till you feel the stretch, come back off. The next movement that we're gonna do is a parallel pigeon. So down on the ground, you're going to keep your front shin out parallel to your body. I'm gonna use my hand closest to that heel to lock it down. So this is my left leg. I'm locking it down with my right palm. And I'm going to push my knee to the ground, come back off. Push my knee to the ground, come back off. The whole time I'm trying to keep my hips nice and square. So do 10 on one side, come over and do 10 on the other. Again, lock that heel down. Nice parallel position. Down, up, down, and up. The third movement for the contraction series is something that we learned at the gymnastics seminar with Coach Kate and Coach Pat, where I'm gonna come into a hollow arch position. This is where I'm gonna be laying down on the ground. I'm gonna have a PVC up overhead, and you're gonna have a partner pull back on this PVC. So I'm gonna come down woo, onto the ground, onto my stomach, come up into a hollow arch position, my hands overhead, and Ian's gonna pull back on this bar, and I'm gonna pull back, let go. Pull back, let go. So you do 10, and then let go and then your partner will do 10. From here, we're gonna move into a contract and then hold for 30 seconds. So the first stretch we're gonna come down into is a puppy dog. You're gonna come to a wide knee position, toes together, but I'm gonna leave my butt kinda high here and I'm just gonna bring my chest down or my, my forehead down to the ground. I'm gonna keep my chin up here so I can talk to the camera. But this is a good one for opening up your back. I'm really trying to get my chest to the ground here. And again, keep your butt up real high. So my contraction is pulling my shoulder blades down into my back. I'm trying to pull with this area of my arm. I want to lock it down as I'm pushing my chest through. Then we're going to come into a fish position. So for fish, you're going to be laying on your back. You're going to put your hands underneath of your butt and then straighten your legs out. Bring your elbows underneath of your body and let your head come back. So you might not get real super far, especially if you have a super locked up thoracic, right? The more you can get your elbows underneath, the higher you'll get your chest up. So uh, for that, for the contraction, you're going to push down through your elbows and let your head fall back and hold this position for 30 seconds. The last one that we're going to do is a fan favorite. We're going to go to our pancake. So come to a good wide position, roll your pelvis back underneath the, so you're sitting on your sit bones. Come point your toes, get a nice good solid core here, contract your legs and then come forward and hold this position for 30 seconds.